Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick general reading for you. Something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. These are going to be general, but if you'd like something personal, you can check out the description. Okay, for some reason my voice, I sound like I'm losing my voice. <laughs> All of a sudden. Alright, so Sagittarius. <clears throat> going on with Sagittarius that they don't expect, but it would benefit them to be aware of it. What will we be talking about today for you Sagittarius? All right, Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is um, a feminine energy um, who's speaking her mind, being very honest, um, coming from a space of logic um, more so than emotion. Um, so this is a feminine energy who's relying on, I want to say reality of a situation or, yeah, the truth that they have. They're just speaking truth. Okay, show me more. Show me more for Sagittarius. The tower, okay, so there could be a feminine energy who's cutting someone off, um, there could be like a fight or a conflict, but it feels more, um, with the Queen of Swords, it feels more like reserved or controlled, like there's, um, like the Queen of Swords has control, but they're being very um, blunt, very straightforward, very um, honest, but they're not being emotional. Um, and yeah, the tower, there's a sudden change. So what someone is saying could create a change. It's creating a shake-up or something like that. Show me more. Someone is speaking their truth here. Or is going to be. Or this is, this is you, or this is someone in regards to you. Oh, okay. Page of Cups. I almost said Page of Swords. Okay, so... Alright, so someone's turning someone down. So a feminine energy is turning someone down. Um, they're rejecting an offer. They're being very honest. They're not really... They're being kind of... I guess kind of cold. But I, I, it's for um, a reason, though. It's... A, you're, someone's protecting themselves. Um, and, like, protecting their heart. So someone's, like, not being vulnerable to this person. So someone could come forward with an apology or... A confession or or just trying to just trying to um, like flirt with you or start something up with you but something may have happened with this person in the past where the Queen of Swords like isn't interested in this person coming forward um, so it's a tower moment because someone's like rejecting someone um, so this feels like someone that someone was already involved with um, and there was some there's a reason why the Queen of Swords is, like, cold to this person, is what I'm feeling. Okay, show me more for Sagittarius. Show me more for Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so, um, this is someone that you could have been back and forth with, dealing with them, um, on and off, or... In the past, it was like that. There's some uh, chain that gets broken, a cycle that gets broken by someone speaking their truth and rejecting this offer or being very honest um, when this person comes in. Even if it's not an offer, it's like it's like an offer of emotion that someone's offering. And this Queen of Swords is um, not being emotional. <laughs> They're being very truthful, very blunt again. So doing that is, is causing some sort of cycle to end or some... It's cutting the chain of something, is what I'm feeling. Someone could be cutting off someone or cutting the cord um, of a connection that they had with someone um, that was toxic or unhealthy, or there was some, there's something where this Queen of Swords is upset about it. Um, like this Queen of Swords is not happy with the past of the situation. Uh, but yeah, there's a cycle change because of this. This is. This is causing a big change in someone's life, this Queen of Swords life and the Page of Page. I keep wanting to say Page of Swords, Page of Cups life. So this person could watch your social media a lot. Um, they could they could 
they could like comment on something or like like a post or something or something with social media or they they like contact you they're like oh I like that picture you just posted or something like that um, like or someone like it's evident that this person is watching your social media you know <laughs> this queen of swords could be seeing something on this person's social media too and um, being like I saw that on I saw that on whichever profile, you know what I mean? I saw this. Like, this person comes forward and they're like, oh, but you just posted this or something like that. There's something where social media is involved here because I keep wanting to say um, the page of swords. Like, someone's watching someone's social media and that's evident. So there's some part of the conversation about social media or someone's posts or something like that. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, the cords are being cut. What was I saying before that, though? I was saying something. Oh yeah, it's causing a, a cycle change for both of these people because maybe in the past um, this Queen of Swords wouldn't have spoken up, wouldn't have spoken their truth. They might have just accepted this offer um, and continued on this cycle um, where the same thing that happened last time would have happened again. So yeah, someone ended a cycle, cut someone out, cut a cycle, cut a chain, cut the cord. Um, yeah, someone that someone was involved with though. Um, in some way. Like there's some history here that's... Um, Difficult. Okay, show me more for Sagittarius. Show me more for Sagittarius. Okay, the nine of nine of Pentacles wanted to come out. Yeah, so you're, so this Queen of Swords is choosing herself in this situation. Very independent. They're good on their own. They don't need this person. Like that's the energy. Okay. Show me more for Sagittarius about the situation. King of Pentacles. Okay, so this this could be in okay. So yeah, someone could be offering some sort of commitment. Ooh, okay, Aki. I'm getting this um <laughs> that was awkward. I'm getting this uh, situation where Someone, someone like a, someone's like married and they approach someone and this person is like, you're married. Like maybe they see that on social media or something or something like that or committed to someone. They're committed in something. Um, there's also something where this queen of swords could be like ending, um, like this page of cups re current relationship like they could be causing a tower in their relationship because they say something they speak up about something they they you know very bluntly say something um like they tell someone something or something so like if this page of cups was like unfaithful it's causing a tower within someone's relationship um, there's also a situation where someone could have like left a marriage or left a relationship and then um, went went to this Queen of Swords. Okay. Um, either way here, what this Queen of Swords is saying is causing a big change. I'm feeling like it's causing this tower moment too. Like what this Queen of Swords says. This whole situation is kind of like a tower because it's causing a big shake up and a big change. And like the chain is being broken, something that's been repeating, um, like a cycle. And someone's in a commitment, a masculine energy in a commitment, or they're asking someone to be in a commitment, and being rejected is a tower for them, too. Okay, show me more for Sagittarius. So you could, someone could have been married to this person. Um, that could be the history here, a marriage, or a commitment in general, like a long-term commitment. Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so someone's like planning on, someone was planning on juggling something, or this could be like a third party thing or something where someone was, or something where someone was planning on juggling, or they are juggling, and that's the state that they come towards someone in, um, in this juggling, unsure state. Kind of chaotic, um, lacking a little bit of clarity. That's what I feel from the Two of Pentacles because it's kind of like two things are being juggled and it's not clear on which one should be 
kept going because like this state can't stay like this forever you know what I mean it's too chaotic um, Um, so someone could have been unsure about this offer as well. But yeah, someone was juggling two people or, or situations or something, and that could also be why someone... That's, that's probably why someone is getting cut off here, is because there's something else involved. Um, where, like, this Queen of Swords isn't, like, the only one or something. Okay, show me more for Sagittarius. What else is going on here for Sagittarius? The Hanged Man. Okay, yeah, so there could be some unsure energy, or it's like there's stagnancy right now for the purpose of understanding. Also, this Queen of Swords is being enlightened on something or being made aware of something. Or illuminating something for someone else. Okay, so what's the whole point in this, talking about this for Sagittarius? Like, what's going on here that, why do we need to talk about this for Sagittarius? Why are we talking about this for Sagittarius? Ooh. King of Wands. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's because there's a masculine energy that's very, like, passionate, but they could be kind of like a player a little bit with it being the wands. Um, yeah, and there's two kings here. But I'm feeling like this is the same king, the same energy, like, someone's in a commitment, but someone's also very, um, not, like, non-committal in a way, like, they're committed to something, but they also kind of step out of that commitment. Okay, so there's also something where someone um, from your past might come towards you with like a like a booty call, like that type of energy. They could be in a commitment. That's why you cut them off. <laughs> someone could even go to the third party and be like, hey, this person's hitting me up, just so you know. Yeah. Or something gets exposed or something. And it's because of something that this masculine energy is juggling. Okay, show me more about why we're talking about this for Sagittarius. Show me more about why we're talking about this for Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, okay. I just heard because your Ten of Pentacles is at stake. <laughs> um, so yeah, because so, your long-term, what I feel from that is your long-term happiness is at stake with this decision. Um, it's important that you follow your intuition and you trust. Um, you trust that intuition. You trust where you're being guided to go. Also, make sure that you're clear-headed on the situation. You know what I mean? Make sure that you are clear on the situation. If you're not clear on the situation, if you're unsure about the situation, like this Two of Pentacles energy, um, then don't make any final decisions um, or anything like that, especially if someone's coming towards you with an offer or something. There's, don't, um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this energy where something is very, um, okay, so it, there's an energy where something is very, like, uh, uh, what's the word for it? I want to say, like, high risk or something. Um, there's something where it's like the decision that this Queen of Swords makes, like the step that they take um, when they're faced with this situation, is going to indicate what cycle this Queen of Swords moves into next and which cycle this situation moves into next. So it's important that you make smart decisions um, for yourself in this situation and choose what you want and what you deserve. Um, there could be a cycle that might end up repeating itself if you ignore your intuition. On the situation. I forget what I was going to say because I was going to say something else too. Hmm. 
um, if you're not sure, make sure that you take a step back and maybe meditate or do something to get your vibration higher. Um, because when we're, when we're in a high vibration, we're making decisions and we're coming from a space of high vibration. So therefore, we're going to make decisions that are going to lead us to the most high vibrational timeline that we possibly can get to. So if you're in a low vibration, try not to make any final decisions. Um, yeah, and just you know, remember what you know of this situation or of this person or something? Oh, okay, what I was going to say. So when I was, you know, I was doing a pre-shuffle, because I actually did a pre-shuffle for you guys, which I don't always do, but I wanted to know, like, a preview of what we're going to be talking about today. And it was actually about the King of Wands. Um, and the Page of Wands also came out as, like, an offer um, of, like, intimacy. So, you know, this offer coming in from this person, it's like you either know it's toxic or like it isn't toxic it's like you know it is and you'd have to like ignore that aspect to go forward with this person or they're not toxic you know what I mean and maybe this isn't this reading isn't for you if this isn't resonating I don't want you to reject every offer that comes towards you but just trust your intuition um this is something where you know this person and there's something um iffy about their intentions or their situation currently um so this could be like a tempting offer from the devil, you know what I mean? From low vibrations, from the agenda of darkness on this earth, you know what I mean? Where like something's trying to get you to go back into the cycle, you know, like this offer comes to you. Um, and it's important that you utilize and use what you know and the truth that you know and the information that you have about life, about yourself, about your situation and your understanding and your intuition. It's important that you use that when engaging with this person. But from the looks of it here, especially with it being the Queen of Swords, it looks like someone's going to cut someone off. We're going to speak the truth. Like, they're not going to, like, be blind to the reality of the situation. They're going to speak up about what they really see about the situation, you know? Okay. Um, but, yeah, the Devil card did come out for your pre-shuffle. The Devil and the Ten of Pentacles is the thing. So it was, like an offer from the devil, like an offer from low vibrations, um, to tempt you into choosing something that you may have chosen in the past, but it kept you on a cycle that was unpleasant. It kept you going around and around on something that wasn't good for you. And you know that, you know that, or, or this isn't for you, you know? Um, so what's the advice for Sagittarius? What's the advice for Sagittarius? What can help Sagittarius move to the most high vibrational timeline possible for them? Queen of Cups, <laughs> the way it flipped around like that. Um, yeah, so you're very loving, you're very giving. You could you could really struggle with hurting people's feelings or something like that. Um, with the Queen of Cups coming out, like especially the way it flipped around, what I'm feeling with the Queen of Cups, rather than being that for other people, be that for yourself right now. Think of yourself as like think of your 3d body as separate right and like choose what you'd want to choose for another person you know what i mean like separate your um 5d self your energetic self from your 3d self and kind of like mother yourself in a way like what advice would you want your mom to give you your your whatever your friend you know your sister brother whatever like What's the advice that you'd want them to give you or, or that you'd want um, to give to them? Um, think of yourself as, like, <laughs> your responsibility. Your heart is your responsibility. It's important that you allow your higher self to help you make decisions and guide you in these things um, because they're looking out for your 3D body and your, your 3D self, you know what I mean? Because that's the whole point. So try to separate yourself from your 3D body or, you know, you know what I mean. Like, separate yourself from yourself a little bit and kind of be like, what's the advice that I would give to someone that I love? You know what I mean? In this situation. If they could see all sides of the situation, what's the advice that I would give them? You know? Um, give the love to yourself. Be this for yourself before you, I want to say, start coddling someone else. <laughs> or something. You could be very um, gentle with this person or something like that. You try not to hurt them. Or you've just been very nice and you've, you've kept your, you know, your words in, you've kept your truth in, you've kind of held back from maybe telling this person off. Maybe they've done this multiple times and you kind of allowed it or you kind of were nice to them, you know what I mean? I'm not saying be mean, but I'm saying speak your truth and 
defend yourself, stick up for yourself, be there for yourself. Um, that's that's the point. So um, that's also why you should try to be in a high vibration when you're doing this too. Like if this person comes in, kind of like allow yourself to do a meditation or something before you respond um, so that you can come from a place of your higher self so that you can do what's right for everyone involved. Um, because, you know, someone participating in low vibrational behavior, it would help them to cut that off too, for you to cut that off too, because that helps them. And maybe they'll go and do it with somebody else, but they're going to learn the lesson. And especially with it being the tower, it feels like a lesson is learned here. Maybe someone thought that they could keep you, um, like on the side or something. They thought that they could, they could just come back whenever they wanted, even if there isn't another person involved. There's something here where you know this person isn't good for you, and they're coming back, and... It's important that you are honest with yourself with that. And I'm not saying don't forgive people, and I'm not saying hold a grudge, and I'm not, you know, this is something really specific where you you just have been in a cycle with this person. Um, this isn't something where years ago they did something. This is like you you were in a cycle with this person, and this person's asking to restart the cycle, and you're hopefully, or you're going to be rejecting it um, if it is a toxic cycle. So thank you, Sagittarius. Um, best of luck going through your situation. Lots and lots of love to you. I know you will do wonderful. I believe in you. You could also be cross-watching for a Sagittarius, by the way. Um, doesn't have to be. But either way, thank you again, and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye!